Herself. Hi everyone. So nice to be here. Thank you for joining me tonight. I have my favorite topic to talk with you about and it's called surrender. Now most of my life I didn't like that word very much and I never wanted to ever think about surrendering, especially when I was drinking. There was no way I was going to surrender. But surrender happened to me and I didn't have a choice. It just happened. And when it did, my life changed forever. So I, I know there's so many wonderful benefits to surrender, and I'd like to just tell you about a few today. So while I was lying there waiting to die from the overdose of pills and alcohol, I couldn't even pray to live or pray to die. All I could think of was I'll just have to let God decide. And right then, those words, thy will be done, started playing in my head. And with those words, I surrendered. And in the end, I just let go. And I let go of all my fear. And all that fear was replaced with trust and it was just like i wasn't able to think because i was so close to death but the surrender came from my heart and that's where surrender is in all of us it's inside you in your heart it's not in your head so if you have any negative emotions that you're holding on to, believe me, it's just so much easier to surrender these feelings than holding on to them and struggling. So if you can accept what is in the moment and just let go, you'll find yourself in such a better place in life and you'll find peace. So surrender isn't really giving up. What it actually is, is you're letting go of the control. You're giving the control over to a higher power. But at the same time, you're joining forces with the higher power and you're getting power you let go of the control but you become able to do so much more with your life and you'll feel a freedom like you never felt before it's amazing and then you ask yourself why was i holding on to all that negativity for so long so you can practice surrender anytime you know if you're driving down the road and there was a traffic jam and say you were late for a meeting and you didn't have any time and this traffic jam was holding you up and you're sitting there in the car and you're just starting to get really aggravated and irritated and pretty soon you can't even stand sitting there you want to scream you want to just yell and you're losing control and you're so afraid you're going to be late and all this anxiety and stress is building up inside of you and you start 
looking around and thinking, why, why is this all happening to me? Well, you can turn that around and take the same situation and you're sitting there in this traffic jam and you know there's nothing you can do to change it. So you surrender to the moment. You accept that you're in this traffic jam. And you release all the negativity surrounding the traffic jam. So now you're able to sit back, relax, and know that and trust that this, this is all part of God's plan. You don't have control over the situation. And the outcome is probably going to be better than you ever could have imagined. So you can just sit there and look out the window and notice things maybe that you never even noticed before because you were so busy driving, you never had a chance to look. So you might make eye contact with someone driving by. You might be able to connect with a smile on someone else's face, or you could put a smile on someone else's face. That always makes you feel good. So instead of sitting there getting all angry and crazy, you can relax in the moment. Maybe you could just sit there in peace and just be. You know, just sit in your car and wait for the traffic jam to clear up. And that will give you time to breathe. And when was the last time you were able to really breathe? So you can look at this moment and think the best, or you can look at the traffic jam and think the worst. So it's just a matter, you can choose. It's a matter of, do you want to feel stressed or do you want to feel relaxed? It's your choice. So you can practice surrender in so many ways. And you'll know when you're surrendered, when you stop asking yourself, why is this happening to me? <laughs> You know, we, we just love to feel like we're a victim and we want to blame people. And, you know, all that negativity doesn't change a thing. So when you realize that you're not in control, you can let go and you can get rid of that inner conflict that's making you sick. It's so much nicer to just feel good inside. And you do feel that sense of freedom when you let go of negativity. So I'd love it if you could start today after the show. The next thing that comes along that bothers you, see if you can surrender and just accept what's going on and see how it feels and see the difference in how you feel. You can let go of fear and you can replace it with trust. It's your choice. So, you know, I was thinking a good way to practice surrender this week uh, would be to think about maybe surrendering your weight because this is the time of the year that we tend to put on extra pounds from now through Thanksgiving, through Christmas, and then in January, we're just all struggling to lose those pounds. But you know, that doesn't even have to happen. You can break that cycle. You could start today and surrender the extra weight. And it's really 
it's really not hard to do. Once you get the knack of surrendering, you can just say, okay, God, I'm putting my weight in your hands. I let go of the control. I release all this anxiety about how much weight I might gain. And I just let it go. And I know as soon as, you know, as soon as the conflict is over, when you stop fighting with yourself, the weight starts to come off. It's amazing how that happens. It's when we keep struggling and struggling to lose weight, seems like nothing will happen. But when you let go of the struggle, the weight does come off. So it's, it's really good to wake up in the morning and ask God to help you. Because it's not something that's easy to do. You really need that extra help. You could stop fighting with your body. Your struggle is only making things worse. The more you struggle, the more the weight stays on. And this is a good time of the year to go within and start thinking about why have you gained this weight? What's going on? What's wrong? So you know what I think, if you could get a journal, it would be great to start writing down how you feel. You know, sometimes it just seems so impossible to sit down and write how you feel. But believe me, once you start, you know, you just start and the words start flowing out and you'll be amazed at what comes out of you. And you know, that's half the battle is finding out what is bothering you. Because I think most of the time, it's not even the food that you're eating, it's what is eating you that's causing you to have this extra weight. You know, we, we feel this hunger inside that we can't fill and we just keep reaching for food and eating to ease that feeling. But sometimes that's not a physical hunger. Sometimes that hunger is deep within and so your soul is hungry too. And you know, you know, hunger is a big difference between body hunger and soul hunger. So you have to learn to know the difference. And the only way you can do that is to ask for help. And you know, if you're afraid to ask for help, just write down help, write it out, big letters. But if you can, scream it out, ask for help, say a prayer, you know, the help will come. And the best way you can let go of all that anxiety about your weight is to surrender. Just let go of the anxiety and all of a sudden, your weight will start to come off naturally. And you'll be so happy once you see the weight coming off. And then you'll be able to, you know, you'll see the difference. So then you'll be able to be comfortable with surrendering every day. Not just for your weight, you'll be able to surrender all kinds of things to get in your way. So maybe today or tonight, you could start a journal and talk about what's wrong and why is your weight out of control. Let your feelings come out. You know, it's, it's when we stuff those feelings down that we get in trouble. We have to let them out and we have to let them go. They have to be released. So in surrender, you can let them go just by saying, I release 
this extra weight or I will let go of trying to be in control. Just saying the words can help. But when you are in control of everything, you really make a mess of things because God has a whole plan for how things should go and we just sometimes try to control things, but that only makes us get in the way. Because sometimes we think, oh, maybe he won't do it the way we want it to come out. You know, maybe the outcome won't be what we want it to be. But we don't know what's best. Although we think we do, we really don't. So take a few minutes and think, what is bothering you? Is your soul hungry? Is your soul yearning for some food? You know, you could fill yourself up with tranquility or inspiration. You could read some scripture and find peace. You could listen to some nice music and feel harmony. You could write in a gratitude journal all the things that you appreciate. You could start today to love yourself and be good to yourself and forgive yourself. Don't wait. It's time for you to enjoy your life. It's time for joy and laughter. And it's time to surrender all the self-doubt, all the judgment, all that negativity, all the blame and the criticism and the hate and the regret and the guilt and the shame, all those things, just let them go. They're not helping you. They're only holding you back. So if you're having trouble losing weight and you just get to a point where you say, what the heck? I can't do this anymore. Just remember to surrender. Go out for a walk, get a big glass of water, sing or dance or meditate, do anything just to take your mind off the trouble you're putting yourself in. You don't have to be in this trap. You can get out. All you have to do is surrender. And it's a lot easier than you think it is. You can just make up your mind today. And if you do, if you awaken to who you truly are, Every time you surrender some of that negativity, you are able to bring on more good emotions and higher vibrations. And then you get closer and closer to peace and joy and love once you let go of that negativity. So close your eyes. And just take a nice deep breath. Breathe in and let it out. And think for a moment. What could you surrender today? Just think about it. All these inner obstacles are getting in the way. So can you let go of one or two? Just think of one to let go of right now. Just surrender one obstacle, one struggle you're having. 
Can you look fear right in the eye? Can you look right into fear? Because you know when you do, fear starts to lose its power. And when you start talking about what it is that you fear, fear losing all is its power because it can't exist when you're talking about it openly. It loses its power over you and pretty soon you won't be hostage. You'll be free. So whatever is troubling you right now, just look it in your look in its eye and say what it is. Say it out loud. You know, your ego is like a great big bully. And it loves to make you be afraid. You know what it really is afraid of? You know what that bully is afraid of? It's afraid of your heart. It's afraid of the good feelings you have in your heart. Because that bully knows that once you go within and find out who you really are, it will have to take a back seat because your spirit is going to be leading you from now on. That ego is going to have to just get out of the way. And it doesn't want to let go of you. So don't worry. Just day by day, one day at a time, face each and every fear you have. You know, I spent a lifetime not letting myself feel anything. Because I, I don't know, I just thought it would be so awful to feel it. But it was so much worse not to feel and I got myself in a terrible mess and I don't want this to happen to you so if you have a problem with your weight right now or with the holidays maybe it's uh, you might be drinking too much whatever you're obsessing about I know this time of the year isn't easy there's a lot of pressure to go shopping and spend money we don't have. But when you go within and surrender these issues, they will dissolve magically. When you get out of the way and let God handle things, you'll be so amazed how much better it is when you let him have the control. Because Everything turns out so much better than you could ever have imagined. You know, it's just like, think of yourself in a little red rowboat. And you row and you row and you row. But you get nowhere because you're going against the current. And the more you row, the more tired you get. And your arms start to ache and your shoulders hurt and your heart starts to pound. You're exhausted. Well, turn the boat around. And now you're going down the stream with the current. Oh, and it's so nice. You're just rowing along and you're rowing along and you're having a wonderful time. And you can even let go of the oars pull them right in because you don't even need them because you're going with the flow. And that's what it is when you surrender. You let go and you go with the flow. And that's what I want for you, every one of you, to feel your life in the flow. It makes such a difference.
you know, um, in my book, Bliss Behind the Mask, I have a whole chapter on how to meditate. And surrender is the first step in meditation. But surrender is really the number one tool for transforming your life. So you can learn how to surrender and then surrender in meditation and surrender in life. Anything you want to do, you can do better if you just surrender and accept the moment. Be present and accept what is just as it is. So tonight, I am hoping that each and every one of you find one thing to surrender before you go to bed. And I pray that in the morning, when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, you can surrender your day. And I know you'll have a wonderful day. So good night. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to ask me any questions, feel free to call me. And if you'd like to buy my book, you can go to my website, Deborah O'Brien Bliss.com. That's D E B O R A H O apostrophe B R I E N Bliss.com. And I hope to talk with you soon. And next week I'll be back. So if you have a chance, drop in. Good night.